The Guru Granth Sahib is the holy book of the Sikhs. It contains the teachings of the Gurus and acts as a spiritual guide for Sikhs around the world. It is probably one of the only holy books that contains not only the writings of the religion's founders written by themselves rather than after their death, but also the writing of people from other religions. Yeah. Writings of Muslims and Hindus can be found throughout, along with references to Hindus and Muslims. Like you said, this is a baby religion of Hinduism and Islam. Oh, but there's some other religions too, Judaism, Buddhism and Christianity. To Judaism, Buddhism and Christianity. Before his death in 1708, the 10th Guru, Guru Gobind Singh, ended the line of human gurus by bestowing guruship on the Adi Granth, turning it into the Guru Granth Sahib, making it similar to both the Bible and Quran and the living prophet at the same time. So as the book is a prophet and a book at the same time, it's a revelation book and a living thing. So wait, does it, yeah. To break down the name, the word guru means guru, uh, granth means book, and sahib means lord. Oh. Since that moment, the guru granth sahib has been revered as the current living guru. It is treated with extreme respect and care. Oddly enough, we need to blaspheme against it, guys. We need to blaspheme against that book. Enough, the grant is not only read, but sung. It's made up of thousands of hymns. Six don't have mass or service, but a kirtan, meaning communal singing. Normally, these are set to classical Indian music. Six, the Gurdwara. Six gather at Gurdwaras, a word meaning doorway to the Guru. A Gurdwara is only a Gurdwara because it has a copy of the Guru Granth Sahib in it. Men and women of all castes and social standing gather there to join in prayer, singing and eating. This is where you'll find the Lunger. Anyone can visit a Gurdwara and partake in the service and meal. You only need to follow basic etiquette. Cover your head, remove your shoes, wash your hands as you enter and do your best not to bring any drugs or tobacco inside. The mo do your best not to bring any drugs? most important Gurdwara in the world is the yes. Harimander or Golden Guys, this place, this temple, the Golden Temple, I really wanted to go there, but now I can't go to India. For people who don't know, there is like, because of my blasphemy against Hinduism, <laughs> there's, there are a lot of people in India that don't like me and they don't want, I, can, I don't know if I can go to India. There's police filings against me and there's legal filings against me. I wanted to go visit this temple so bad, so bad, but I can't, no, I don't know if I can. They said people from India are telling me like, yeah, don't come to India. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're not gonna, you're not gonna survive. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk it. Golden Temple in Amritsar, India. In 1604, Guru Arjan completed work on the Golden Temple and had the Guru Granth Sahib installed inside it. As it's really pretty though. It's really, really pretty. As a gesture of religious tolerance, Guru Arjan invited the Muslim Mian Mir to lay the foundation stone of the Golden Temple. The temple has four doors opening on all four sides mm. to show the openness to all cultures and peoples. But on the inside, only one door leads to the inner sanctum. Hey, so maybe this is a metaphor for if we're just pretending that there's all many ways to God. But once you come inside a religion, you notice that there's only one way to this our way or the highway. We can, oh guys, this is actually a good metaphor, okay? So from the outside, they have multiple entrances from all sides. So all sides are okay. Every religion is good. That's what we tell the outsiders. But once you're an insider, you notice, no, there's only one path. It's only our way. That's what we just tell everybody else. So their temple is a metaphor for what they tell the world compared to what they actually believe. Hmm. See how see how we could use metaphors as well? Hmm. Yeah, see? Look at this. Stone of the Golden Temple. The temple has four doors opening on all four sides to show the openness to all cultures and peoples. But on the inside, only one door leads to the inner sanctum, indicating that all paths and beliefs eventually lead to the one God. Okay, wait. So you did a different metaphor. I did my own version of metaphor. You said like all of them eventually leads to one way, but I, 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 
If you guys could do metaphors, I could do metaphors as well. I, I use, I prefer my. The Golden Temple is the most visited place in the world with around 6 million visitors each year. Wait, what? Most visited place on earth? Are you sure? How many people every year visit the Kaaba? Kaaba visitors every year. Um, wait. Does it say Mecca? Mecca visitors a year. Wait, where am I? Gonna... Google, you're failing me. How many? Oh, three million per. Wow. Okay, so Mecca is three million a year. Wow. So they beat them, even though they're much less in population than Muslims. They have more pilgrims every year. What about Karbala? Karbala. Guys, is this true? Annual pilgrimage to Karbala is 17 million. 17 million. So Karbala, so more Shias visit Karbala than they visit Mecca itself. See how coming in Iraq is to 17 to 20 million a year. Okay, so this is not true. So, so this guy is saying that the highest visited place is this with 6 million every year. year. But Karbala, people visit Karbala for pilgrimage between 17 to 20, 20 million a year. So, but only 3 million for the Hajj, which is Mecca. By the way, this... If this is true, if what I'm telling you is true, this shows you where Shia's true allegiance is side. This shows you that Shias are more obsessed with Hussein than with Allah himself. Right? If they go to Karbala more than they go to Mecca. Um, but again, so, but this number is not... If 6 million is much less than 20 million, so... Hold on. The Golden Temple is the most visited place in the world. Yep, nope. I just checked. Karbala is the most visited, is way more visited than here. Around 6 million visitors each year. The longer at the Golden Temple serves a free meal to about 100,000 people. Oh, Qasim has a good point. Uh, Qasim is saying it's because 17 million people can't be acc accumulated around the Kaaba. Very good point, Qasim. A very good point. Thank you each day making it the world's largest free serving kitchen all run and staffed by volunteers and the waiting list to volunteer in the golden temple has hundreds of thousands of names on it